In this segment, we're going to talk about some of the characteristics of the chimes. Chimes are metal tubes that are suspended on a rack. Chimes come with a damper pedal. If you press the pedal down, you'll get a long sustained sound when you play. Bring the pedal up to dampen the sound. You can also use the hand that you're not playing with to dampen the chimes. You want to play on the very top edge to get the best sound on the chimes. You want to play with a great chime hammer. The Vic Firth chime hammer has got a great weight, which is important, and it's a hard plastic head on one side to get an articulate sound. The other side of the mallet is covered with felt, so you get a softer, warmer sound. If the music is quick and you need to use two mallets, make sure that you're using two matching chime hammers. You don't want to use anything else, otherwise you won't have a consistent sound from hand to hand. When you're resting, either in a rehearsal or in a concert, make sure that you don't rest your mallets on the top of the instrument. They'll definitely fall at the worst possible time. So instead, just like when you're playing any other percussion instrument, have a mallet tray handy. You can just use a music stand with a black towel on it. Set your mallets there when you're not playing. The music stand placement when you're playing chimes is very important. You want to make sure that the music stand is placed directly in front of the conductor, high enough so that you can both read the music and see the conductor without having to look down and up. You also want the music stand to be as close as possible to the chimes so that you can keep one eye on the conductor and one eye on the instrument that you're playing. It's important that you don't set up the instrument such that you have to look through the bars, through the chimes to see the conductor. You won't be able to and you'll be distracted. You won't be able to play well. Occasionally a composer might ask you to play on the chimes with something like a vibraphone mallet or a xylophone mallet, but in general you want to make sure that you're using a good chime hammer. Now, although the chimes aren't an instrument that you're going to need to practice as much as you need to practice snare drum or timpani, it's important that if you need to play the chimes with your band or with your orchestra, that you take some time and get comfortable with the instrument before your first rehearsal or concert. That way you can always create the best sound for the music.